Hi, this is Muhammad Amin from Fabricot. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own chatbot AI that can answer your questions based on your custom knowledge base. Or simply, you can connect it to your database and ask related questions. We are going to use OpenAI API and also we are going to use some open source libraries like Langchain and GPT Index. So let's get started. <music> I have already created a project in Google Collabs so you can easily follow the steps later on. Well, first of all, we need to have our own data and I have created data as well using ChatGPT. Basically, there are two kinds of data. Uh, one of them in plain text. I have asked ChatGPT to create imaginary country which is called GPT World. And another type of data we have in JSON format, which contains a company information, its employees. I just copied this data and uploaded it into the GitHub. As you can see, we have two files in GitHub, one of them in a text format and another one in a JSON format. So what we are going to do is we are going to the path of GitHub and download this data into the Google Collapse. It will take some time and in few seconds our data will be downloaded. Yeah, it's finished. Let me refresh Collapse directory. And as you can see, we have our data. One of them is text format and another one is in a JSON format. So as I mentioned before, we are going to use two libraries and we need to install dependencies. So let me install them. So one of them is GPT index library and another one is link chain library. I'm not going to explain it into details, but you can check link chain library documentation in their website. And as you can see, they are working with different kind of files like CSV files, PDF files, and there are different kind of sources and uh, applications. So you can check on their website and another library is GPT index. Uh, both of them is well documented and they have very good examples. So you can create your own applications or your own chatbots using these libraries. So we installed dependencies for the libraries and let's move to the step three. In step three, we are importing our libraries, uh, which we are going to use in our functions. Uh, basically, we have only two functions. One of them is construct index, which is taking parameter of directory path. And another one is ask AI, which will be used later on. Uh, we are going to use this function to ask our questions. So here we are importing our uh, libraries. Then we are setting all uh, different kind of parameters here. Uh, those parameters are open AI parameters. You can check those parameters also in playground. The parameters we are used here are the same parameters. If you can see it's here, temperature, for example. And if you go to the playground, the same parameter, you can see it here. You can ask questions to the chat GPT and play around with those parameters. So you can understand very well how they are working. We are setting all parameters. Then we are defining those parameters. We are going to use a model which is called Text Da Vinci 3. This model you can check also in the OpenAI documentation. They are using different kind of models. So you can click here and you can read about different kind of models. In our example, we are going to use GPT-3 and Text Da Vinci 3 model. So we are defining a model, a large language model here, and we are constructing our index document so what is it doing uh, it's creating its own index so instead of working with multiple files it just constructing an index and working with one file uh, but it's constructing the uh, index based on the data and files we are uploaded before and then uh, we are storing this index in the directory collapse. So let me run this function and you can see it will create uh, an index.json file. Yeah, it's finished. In fourth step, 
uh, we need to have our open API key. API key you can get from the your account. Let me show you. You need to open. You need to register to the OpenAI website. Then after you registered, you can go to your account and from here, uh, from your account, uh, you can create API key uh, by clicking this button and give some name. So it will give you a, a key. So you can copy this key. So why we are using this key? Uh, OpenAI is limited and after your limit is finished, to uh, you need to pay for the credits. They have different kind of credits. So for, for each credit, for each token, you are going to pay. It's not expensive. You can create it. And I think for each credit, they are charging like 0 0.016 tokens. So uh, it's not too much expensive. So we copied our API key and we need to paste it here and run this function also. So in step five, as I told you, we need to construct our index. So basically what we are doing here is we are calling the function which is written here and we are giving the directory path of our data and it's finished. Let me refresh. And as I mentioned before, it constructed file uh, which is called index.json. So all information are stored and constructed in one file now. And in the final step, we can call our ask AI function, which is written here. And we can ask our AI the question based on our data. So let me check the information. For example, here we have information about the company. And let me ask how many employees uh, the ECMI Corporation have. Uh, as you can see here, it gave me answer that ECMI Corporation has three employees. And if we, uh, if we check our data uh, in JSON file, uh, we can see that uh, we have just three employees here. Okay, let me ask question about the first file, about the first data, which given by ChatGPT, which is about GPT world. And I think can ask question about the population, capital city. Let's ask what is the capital city of the GPT world. As you can see here, it answered the capital city of GPT world is Technoville and it's correct. So basically how you can create your own chatbot on AI. I hope that this video is helpful for you and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.